everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you all of the really awesome things that I got for Christmas. And I'm really excited about this because I just love Christmas. I love when people think of you and they give you things that they want to give to you and then you end up really, really liking the things that they give you because they were on your wish list in the first place. Anyways, I got a lot of really good goodies and a lot of fun gifts, so let's just get started. So the first thing I got in the mail from my sweet friend Alex, I will link her channel below. She is just adorable and she's super sweet and she is an eyeshadow girl. She's an eyeshadow-aholic actually. Um, and she gave me this Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I think the colors in this are gorgeous. I've worn this palette probably twice thus far. I do plan on doing a tutorial with this in February. And I'm just really excited to play around with this. The colors that really caught my eye right off the bat were this pink sugar. It's a really pretty shimmery pink color. And I really like the shade called Peanut Butter. Those warm brownish shades are just my favorite. So thank you, Alex. I'm so excited to play around with this. And it's the slimmer packaging. I have the original chocolate bar palette, like the original original, so it's a little thicker. This is the slimmer. And I'm super excited to play around with that. Um, next I got some nail polishes here from Madame Glam, and I have worn a few of these so far. I have six of them here, and I'm really impressed with these. I'm going to be talking about these in a Saturday's Chit Chatterday, go in depth a little bit more about them, but so far I've worn Original Sin, and it was opaque in one coat. Really, really pretty. Um, I think, I don't know if these are still on sale by the time you watch this video, um, today is Saturday and this is going to go up on Tuesday, so they were 40% off. If that's the case, like, then they're like, just pick up whatever colors you want, because like, 40% off, and I think they're originally like around $12, so they're like $6 or $7. Oh, definitely worth $6 or $7, I can tell you that. Okay, next, I was at the drugstore, and I was watching Sherry Curry, I will link her channel below, and she was saying how much she's been using this lip butter in the shade Creme Brulee. And I went through all my lip butters. I have like 10 or 12. And I didn't have this one. And I was actually kind of shocked. So I picked this one up. I've worn it a few times. It's definitely a very nude nude. But it's really pretty with a darker lip liner. And then kind of as a topper to a lipstick. And so um, I've been enjoying this lip butter. I like the lip butters. They're really comfortable on the lips. They're, I love the shine. I love the moisturization. I'm totally into shine and moisture right now because it's, cause it is winter. I've been exfoliating my lips, but they're still just beyond dry. All right, my sweet friend, oh, she's so beautiful, Amy, gave me a couple things I've been wanting. The first is the NARS Limited Edition Duo in Dolomites. This is found nowhere, nowhere. I checked every single website. I checked all of my local counters. You couldn't get this anywhere. This came out, I think, maybe this summer in a collection. I'm not sure. However, she was able to find it by calling the NARS Boutique in Melrose. And they're such lovely people there. I've ordered from them a few times, and they're just so nice, and they're really helpful. And so if you like this, it's limited edition, meaning once it's gone, it's gone forever, unless they make it permanent, which I don't know. They should, because it's absolutely stunning. So it's this beautiful purpley, taupey lilac shade in this dark, like, really dark burgundy brown shade. All I know is that's a terrible swatch. Um, I've worn it on my eyes a few times. It is so, so pretty. So, so pretty. But I love those lilac shades just all over their lid. They're so brightening. Just really, really pretty and soft. So, that she gave me. And then she gave me this lip glass in the shade Purr. And I didn't even tell her I wanted this. I had written a comment on, I think it was Lisa Lisa D1's video, that I had wanted this lip gloss after seeing it on her lips. And she had went out and bought it. And I'm so excited that she did because it is a beautiful nude. I love the lip glasses. They smell good. I like the formula. I'm going to put a little bit on here. I like the formula. They're not sticky, but they're just... a like sticky enough that they stay on. They have a really opaque finish and I just, oh, see that color? It's just stunning. So, love that. And then she gave me this brush. And I actually needed a brush like this. This is um, the It Cosmetics Airbrush Pre Precision Shadow Brush number 112. Number 112. It is a um, synthetic duo, no, synthetic thicker, denser type brush. Super soft. She said 
that this is her favorite brush that she uses to apply cream products, cream shadows, shadow sticks, blending them out. Um, and I've used it a few times and it's really nice. It's really soft. I don't think you can go wrong with It Cosmetics brushes. You know they're really soft, they're high quality, they're made really well. Um, they do what they say they're supposed to do. I hate when you find a brush that says it's supposed to do this and you use it for what it's intended to do and it doesn't work that way. Um, this brush does. So I've been enjoying this brush and I, I like it. Alright, so we had gone, my mom and I had gone shopping, we went out for lunch. And we had gone shopping and I picked up a few things. So this first thing was not on my wish list. It wasn't even on my radar until I went to the store and I saw it. Now the price point on this I think was like $28 or $29. And it's the Sephora and Pantone Universe Blush Palette. I'm wearing it today. I'm actually wearing both of the blushes. I am going to be using this in an upcoming tutorial next Tuesday. I wanted to do like a Marsala Pantone Color of the Year look and I decided to use this. So you're going to see this in action and I actually use it as eyeshadow and blush. Um, thoughts on it, a full review is going to be up next Tuesday. But so far like the packaging just sucked me in. It is so pretty. I'm loving it on my cheeks and I'm excited about that. The next thing that I had, actually the next two things that I picked up were not even on my radar either, but that's okay because sometimes the best things you find are things you haven't already seen people talk about or you haven't seen advertisements for and you didn't even know they existed. So we were at the Bobbi Brown counter, my mom was trying on lipsticks and I made a whole list of all the lipsticks that I wanted and then I didn't buy any of them and I bought this one. <laughs> I'm wearing it today underneath that gloss that I just put on, so what you saw originally. Might have to rewind if you wanted to see it, but I'll swatch it here for you. It's the Bobbi Brown Lip Color in Pink Gold Shimmer. And I've been into these um, shimmery finishes, just kind of like really moisturizing, but glossy, but like something that adds interest to the lips without a lot of color. Um, and I thought this would be pretty just as a nude or especially in the summer. And it's, oh goodness, I swatched, hold on. I did that over the eyeshadow. That doesn't work. Let's do it over here. Right here. So it's a pinky golden color. But can you see the gold reflex in there? It has the tiniest, most micro bits of shimmer. Have it on my lips. Not in anything chunky, not anything obstructive, not anything that's going to, you can't feel it or anything like that. It's just a really, look at that dog hair. I swear. You don't even know how many times I plug dog hair off of an item before I show it to you. Uh, <laughs> and I have one dog. Um, anyways, it's just a really pretty golden, pinky gold shade. And I just thought it was really sexy on. And when I tried it on in the store and I turned around and Amy was with me and my mom. And I'm like, look at this color. And they both thought it looked good, so I bought it. Um, and then I went over to the Chanel counter. I had two Glossomers that I really wanted to get. So I tried on the one I bought first and then I tried on the one I had thought I wanted second and I liked them both but I went with this one because it was more opaque and this is the Glossomer number 19 ooh I think it's called Blizzard oh my gosh you guys I can't even with this gloss so it's like this very opaque this formula and the twinkle one that I love um, are very opaque that's what the Chanel lady told me but it's like this mauve color with silver and gold reflex. It's absolutely amazing on the lips. Like, uh, amazing. Look at this. I'm going to wear this soon so you can see it. But I just, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Just go to the counter and swatch it, put it on your lips. The magic happens when you put it on your lips. It just makes your face look so pretty. I love it. All right, and then I placed a couple online orders. So there was a giant purchase, a giantly expensive purchase that I've been wanting since the day they came out, but I just haven't been able to swing it. I haven't been able to justify it until now. I had some Christmas money. Can you guess what I bought? It came in this bag. It came in like this luxurious packaging. Beautylicious packaging, they really go over the top with wrapping things up nicely. Their shipping, it came in two days. Free shipping, two days. Um, it was in cute little tissue paper, black and white polka dots, and then I ordered the Wayne Goss kit. This is the kit that, what is it called, the complete kit 
This is his foundation brush. This brush you can kind of use for highlighter, bronzer if you wanted to, setting your concealer, whatever. And then the eye brushes. Let me just tell you, I've been using these nonstop since I got them. And they are amazing. They're the softest brushes I've ever felt. I'd say they're worth every penny. Um, I haven't washed them yet. I'm scared to. I'm going to try to hold out as much as I can. Looks like the... Uh, they're just so soft. So, 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 so soft. So you're going to see these in a lot of tutorials. And you can see how amazing they are. Then, I finally... I've been wanting this since the first moment I saw it. I finally ordered something from Tom Ford. I've been... I, I feel like my collection is starting to become more complete now that I'm splurging and treating myself. And I feel like, I know a lot of you drugstore girls out there, um, you're like, oh, it's a lot of money, and it is a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sell you. It's a lot of money. Um, but sometimes in life, you just need to treat yourself. You just need to buy yourself something you've really, really been wanting. I had to stop going on the hunt for something that was going to satisfy my needs that was similar or a dupe. And just buy the real thing. Sometimes the real thing is really awesome. Sometimes it's not. But in this case, it is. I bought myself a Tom Ford quad. Now I want more. <laughs> That's the problem. Once you go Tom Ford, it's hard to go back. And there's some truth to that. First of all, as you see, it came in this cute little pouch. And it has Tom Ford embossed on it. Just fancy, smancy pants stuff, you know. But here's the packaging. Gold. You lift it up. So, how can I show you this? This is Tom Ford Cognac Sable. Stunning. Stunning! If you guys want me to do a luxury high-end tutorial of some sort, just using all my fancy pants stuff, let me know and I'll do that. But I am wearing this today on my eyes. I didn't do anything crazy because I'm rushing off to work and I'm actually going to finish the rest of this video when I get back. So, we'll see how my makeup holds up. I'm going to need to put some setting spray on. Just reminding myself, setting spray. Um, anyways... Mm, this is beautiful. I want more. <laughs> if you guys have any other ones that you recommend to me that you're just like, you need this if you're going to buy another one, please let me know what that is. Um, I, I want to get ones that are really, really good. I'm sure they're all good. But you know, there's probably some that are a little up there, a little better. The next thing that I got was this fun hat. I tried this on at um, Forever 21. It came in the mail, so I have to like fix the brim, but I think it's supposed to be more like like a fedora or something. I just thought it was so cute and I just had to get it and at the day that I bought it I was wearing a really cute outfit and it just went so I had to pick this up from Forever 21 now that my hair is jacked up. So I got a package in the mail from my bestie Ashley for Christmas. She bought me the cutest little coach tote. It is so cute and I love brown. Brown is definitely my go-to. So it's just a cute little tote. It has a few I don't know if you're going to see this. This is dark. There's two pockets and a zippered pocket right there. Just super, super cute. So chic. So fashionable. I love it. And then I got another pair of my favorite leggings of life. I wear these all the time. All the time. From Jane. Um, these are My friend Kayla bought me these. These are a black and white pattern. They kind of remind me of like the 1980s a little bit. Um, but they're so, so soft. My favorite patterned leggings ever, ever. I have three pairs. And I'm still collecting more. And then she bought me a uh, long tunic that I've actually worn belted. It's really cute belted. Um, you could also throw like a vest over it. It's just a long tunic like this. It has three quarter length sleeves. It kind of gathers a little bit on the shoulders. But it's very fitted on the top and then it flows out in the bottom. So on me it's a little boxy but I like to belt it and then kind of loose on the top a little bit. And it's so cute with boots. So cute with like skinny jeans and a pair of heels and I just love big comfy things like this. Alright, so I just got back from work and the rest of my what I got for Christmas just came in the mail. So if I look a little different, actually I'm really impressed with how this foundation lasted. And I changed my lipstick and I'm really liking this. It's not anything I owned, I tried it on at work. Um, I really want to get it. It's a Lancome Naturally Mauve Lip Liner with the Lancome Rose amnesia lipstick strange name I actually have had this on for a good two hours so everything is very well worn but anyways you want to see what else I got so first thing I got was these beloved Guerlain meteorites I have been wanting these for almost a year straight and so I got the shade 02 Claire I believe they are 
Yep. And I just got these. So I'm just opening it up. And it looks like it comes with a puff. A puff. A very colorful puff. And I call these Easter eggs because don't they look like a bunch of Easter eggs? I don't know if I'll ever use the puff that comes with it, but we'll just set that back in there. They smell very fragrant. Like a perfume. Like some sort of perfume I just smelled at work. Um, they're kind of poofing around. But I'm excited to use these because they're supposed to be life-changing. So we'll find out. And the other thing that I got is a Tom Ford blush. I'm so excited. I literally haven't even opened this yet. So it comes in a little pouch like that. There's the blush packaging. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. <gasps> that would have been terrible. Oh, wow. Wow. First time. First. This is a true first impression. That is a serious, you, <laughs> a seriously bright, there it is, a seriously bright color. I freaking love it. I cannot wait to wear this. Oh my gosh. Let me just touch it. Oh my gosh. It's so, oh wow. They're so, so pigmented. This is a Chelsea color. I'm so happy with this purchase. Oh my gosh. I should have opened all my stuff like on first impression. That would have been fun. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for what I got for Christmas. You're going to get to see all these products in action throughout the next couple months because I'm actually not going to be doing a haul for a long time. And I'm saying that because it's holding myself accountable. But truly, I am going on a very low buy for a while. Because I really want to have some time to use my things, do tutorials, this, that, and the other thing. And so I want to try to hold out as long as I can to get anything else. Um, just because I need to and my husband wants me to. So let's be real here. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for the tutorial on that Sephora palette review coming up next Tuesday. And a really awesome video on Friday and Chit Chatter Day on Saturday. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will chat with you soon. Bye.